and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Darlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing this sealing tool set. If you are someone who likes to can foods or like it's harvest season, so if you're harvesting plums or um, apricots or anything, you can make jellies and then seal the cans so that it'll last a little bit longer. So this is how it comes and I will be linking where you can actually purchase it down in the description box below if you guys are interested. But this is how it comes packaged. I actually got it for my mother-in-law because she um, makes a lot of different kind of jellies and um, jams and stuff. So I figured that she would love this. It does come with two different seals as you can see right here. So it has the, for the bigger mason jars and then the smaller ones. It comes with this right here, which is the pump that you'll actually plug in and use it to pump, pump it out, as you can see. Right there. It comes with some lids for the jars, just like the metal parts. So you want to keep that and it comes with an instruction manual and you can also use this for Ziploc baggies it shows. So that's really good to know. They have like Ziploc baggies as you can see that are made for sealing. I don't have one of those but they have ones that are. So it also comes with this right here which is the cord that you'll be using for it. And this, which is to open the cans. Yeah, it's to open a mason jar that's been sealed. You just kind of wedge it underneath there and then pull up. So this is the device itself. It does come with a little extra piece of cord. Um, this right here is if you have um, a vacuum seal like that seals the bags. I actually do have one of those, but I'm not going to show you that in this video. So if you do have one of those, you can attach it to this and then to your um, vacuum sealed machine um, and seal it that way, as you can see, like this picture right here. But today I'm just going to be reviewing this one right here, which is this a regular one. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and go get a jar so that I can seal it up. Okay, so I'm just going to reseal this jar right here. I actually want to try this out. It's a jam, but I've been eating low carb and low sugar. But since today is my 10 year anniversary, I might have a cheat day. So I may have to try this because I've been wanting to. So I'm just going to open it because it's already been sealed. You can see you heard that snap. So I'm just going to put this on like that. Then I'm going to put the smaller little jar on. Let me go ahead and push this back and point it down so you guys can see what I'm doing with all my mess. <laughs> so I'm just going to push this down like that. And then it says you place this on top of this. Place it. It doesn't like latch over it or anything. And then you just turn it on. So it says six to eight seconds. So let's see. Okay, and it is sealed again. So let me go ahead and open it so that you guys can hear it is sealed. You hear that? So it completely sealed it. Mmm, that looks so good. It's like a blueberry jam. It says blue barb. So yes, I'm going to try some of this, but yeah, this works really, really good. As you could see, it did it with no problems. You just put it on, like I said, put this on and then you hold it for six to eight seconds. Eight. Take it off and it is sealed again. 
can see, and we're going to listen to the pop again. Super nice. So yeah, definitely works, and I would highly recommend this if you are someone who likes to um, can or preserve any kind of foods. But yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell down in the corner below. That way you'll be notified every time that I do upload a video. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye, God bless.